Okay, hi, okay, it's Craig with Follett, and today we're going to be testing the compressor windings and the phase monitor on a Horizon 2110 ice machine outdoor condensing unit. Okay, for this procedure, all we're going to need is, in the form of tools are a 5 16 inch nut driver and our digital multimeter. Okay, we're going to have to start by backing out the three screws that are holding the access panel in place using our 5 16 inch nut driver. Okay, you want to note that we do not have this unit energized and we know that it's not energized because we don't have any indicator lights on the phase monitor. This is our phase monitor and this is our main contactor bringing the three phase power into the compressor. Okay, we've applied power so now we have 210 volt three phase on the phase monitor and we have a fault light being indicated which would be indicative of a problem with our compressor. Okay, we're going to verify our incoming voltage to the phase monitor and we have a parallel connection off of our incoming power coming up each phase to the phase monitor. So I'm going to, I have my digital multimeter on the voltage AC scale. I'm going to bridge across L1 to L2. I'm reading 212.3 volts. L1 to L3, 210.7, and L3 to L2, 210.5, so I have approximately the same voltage across each phase. There are three adjustment settings on the phase monitor. The center adjustment is for adjusting the voltage set point. That should be set per the dial to the incoming voltage, which we measured at about approximately 210 volts, and we have that set on 210 volts, so that's okay. The second set point adjustment is your trip delay, which is monitoring the phase voltage between each phase, and if you lose a phase, it's gonna wait for the time delay, and then it'll trip off the phase monitor and, and shut down the unit. This should be set to seven seconds. The third set point is your restart delay. The restart delay should be adjusted to the 200 mark, 200 seconds, which means that when you energize the compressor unit, the time delay is going to count down those 200 seconds until it's going to energize the compressor. So you will see the fault light on when you apply power initially until the restart time delay times out and then it'll go into run mode. If you have the fault light indicated on your phase monitor, the first thing that you want to check is your voltage adjustment. And you can see here we're set at 240, but we measured our incoming voltage at 210. So I'm going to turn that to the 210 set point. And now our phase voltage adjustment is lined up with the incoming phase voltage. After that set is reset, you need to wait your 200 seconds for the unit to recalibrate and start. If your fault light doesn't clear within the 200 seconds of the restart time delay, then you want to replace your phase monitor. I'm also going to want to resistance check the compressor winding coils and for that I'm going to go to the compressor con start contactor downstream and I'm going to go across the L1 and I have my digital multimeter on the ohm scale. So I'm going to go L1 to L2 and I should read about 0.7 ohms. L2 to L or L1 to L3, 0.7 ohms. L3 to L2, 0.7 ohms. The ohm reading is should be within 0.7. The other check I want to make is my resistance to ground and it should be infinite. So I'm going to go on my ground terminal and my L1 connection and I'm reading OL on my digital multimeter, which is what I would expect to see on each one of those phases. And if that coil was shorted to ground, uh, we would see uh, zero resistance.